All right, folks, so it is time once again for another Latchkey food review. <laughs> and today, we're going to Wendy's. Haven't been to Wendy's in a minute. Uh, well, I went there, I guess, not too long ago, about two weeks ago, to get that peppermint frosty. That they are still selling, by the way. But now, they've got their Baconator situated between two pretzel buns. Now, I don't know if that is a, a big enough difference, you know, to warrant, you know, a full review on the Baconator just because they put it on two pretzel buns. Are those pretzel buns amazing enough to qualify it as an entire different sandwich just because they put it in between two of their pretzel buns. Now, they already had the pretzel pub burger, so basically, it's looking like, you know, they made a Baconator between their pretzel bun. <laughs> now, the Baconator is already good. Now, mind you, let me get you out of the sunlight. The Baconator is already good uh, the way it comes. At least I thought so. So, did they make it bigger? Is it any different than just a regular old Baconator on a pretzel bun? Or between two pretzel, or between a pretzel bun? You know, you know what I'm saying? Is the pretzel bun enough to make a difference? We're going to find out right now in a minute. Coming up. Alright, so here we are pulling in to the Wendy's now and they have not been long started serving lunch so we are to get a pretty fresh <laughs> pretzel bun baconator <laughs> all right now let's see pretzel baconator I mean, do they even got the regular? Yeah, they're still selling the regular Baconator. So, you know, you're not stuck with just having to get it all the time if that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, that's, 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 that's awesome. At least you have the option to get the original. All right, all right. We're going to try that one out. Thank you for choosing Wendy's. May I take your order? Yeah, let me try that new uh, pretzel Baconator combo. What drink for you today, Let me get a uh, Diet Coke. I'm sorry, my diets are still out. The people haven't fixed it yet. I got regular Coke. Um, could I get unsweet tea? Yes, sir. What uh, else can I do for you? Uh, that'd be all. Thirteen eighty-five today, please. Sorry. Thank you. All right, so. <sighs> No Diet Coke. That's already one strike. That's already a bad sign. That's a bad omen for me. <laughs> Alright, folks. I'm going to settle up with them. Get back with you in just a few. Alright, folks. We got it. We're just trying to give ourselves some a little bit of relief from the sunshine this morning because it is sunny and bright out here for some reason. So, Got me a little bit of shade here, you know. Tree don't do quite as well without its leaves, but hey, we'll take what we can get, right? <laughs> All right, so uh, got me an unsweet tea here. Not my favorite. But uh, I got me some... Uh, packs of artificial sweetener to do it up with. Try not to drop them in here. Got to hand it to Wendy's. They got some pretty solid cups. Some of these places give you cups that a lid will pop right off. These actually have a grab to them. 
So if you got an unsweet tea, you can shake it up like a tornado in there and get all that unsweetened particles going around. Hey, it ain't too bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I feel like tea should be cheaper than soda. Anybody else feel like that? When I was growing up, you used to have to pay for the soda, but they'd have restaurants where you could get tea for free just for eating there. They, that'd be a gimmick to get you to come in. So needless to say, oh, there's the fries. Hmm? They also got their Baconator fries back. I feel like that's a review for a separate time. At least for me it's going to be. But this is what it's all about today right here. And uh, there you go. Here is our baconator on a pretzel bun. I mean, something about it. I mean, it's losing bacon. And they did a good job on cooking that bacon, by the way. What is so special about this pretzel bun? I mean, let's try just some of the bun. Because I'm an acquiring mind, I gotta know. I mean, it's a good bun. But does it make that big of a difference? I almost forgot to say, uh, Wendy's give us a ton of napkins. That's always important to me. <laughs> so it's still got the same cheese, the same bacon, the same amount of meat. The only thing is bread, it's even got the uh, mayonnaise and ketchup as condiments on this uh, which you know is very good by the way ketchup and mayo go good together on this uh, big old monstrous cheeseburger Honestly, 
it tastes like a baconator. The same familiar taste that you get from it. The bun. Really doesn't make that big of an impact. <laughs> if we're being honest. I feel like the uh, regular bun is just fine now. If they switched it on a permanent basis to this, it wouldn't keep me from going to get it at all. This is a great bun. I'm just saying there's not a big difference between that and the regular bun. Meaning, I like it either way, <laughs> you know. Whether it be on this pretzel bun, or whether it just be on the regular bun that they normally serve, you know, it'd be just fine either way. I, I'm good either way. I'm gonna finish this up. We'll talk about it in the afterthoughts coming up. Ah, right, folks, my final thoughts on the pretzel baconator at Wendy's is, hey, right, look, that's a two thumbs up all day long just because it's a baconator, okay? Uh, the pretzel bun was, you know, it was good. It was delicious. Now, I feel like it made such an impact uh, or a difference in the sandwich, you know, to warrant it to be a better bun than the regular bun. Eh, not really. I mean, it's a bun. <laughs> it's a good bun. Don't get me wrong. It is a good bun. It's an excellent bun. Uh, I do highly recommend you try it if you if you think you know you want to try something like that. You know, it is. It's a slightly different experience, but not out of this world, over the top different. You know, not in a way that the uh, you know like the uh, candy bacon at Hardee's. You know, for their uh, Frisco burger they got going on right now. Uh, I think uh, that was that was a little bit of a difference maker there. It had that little sweet taste in there from the bacon, which made a big difference on that sandwich. Uh, it, it did make some difference, you know. Not, not it just wasn't over the top uh, different. But anyway, I enjoyed it. I love the baconator. I could never give it a bad review. I think it's awesome. I think you should go get one. <laughs> Alright, but that is all I have for this review. So until the next one, you folks have a good one.